Hi, this is Chrissy Guthrill from The Uncommon Ground, and we're here today for our training session. And this training session is about adding users and um, a settings overview. So we're here in our Coffeematico account, and we're going to go to settings. So here is uh, settings. And this first screen that it brings you into is your information and your time zone. If you ever need to, to change your password, then you can change it here. Now to add users, we go to my company users accounts and you can see Bob Smith here. He's the owner of Coffee Matico. So he's in here and now we need to add some of his employees. So we're going to go new user and we're going to add Tom Jones. And when you can put a mobile phone in here, if you would like that employee to have text message alerts. So say if uh, somebody hit a certain lead score or if somebody filled out a contact form, you can actually have your employees text messaged with the information. So we're not, we won't um, set that one up, but if you were to put a number in here, you have to also pick who the provider is. And here are user roles. So this, you, we're gonna say that Tom Jones is a sales manager. So here is the, the different user roles. Site admin has unrestricted use. If you need a better description, you can hover over the eye there and they have full access to SharpSpring. A company manager has uh, access to the visitor ID and contacts. If you press company manager, it's a sales manager and marketing manager. So we're gonna make Tom Jones a sales manager. And that means that he'll have access to all of his sales salespeople, but not to the marketing the marketing side. If we had pressed like this, then he would be the marketing manager, and he wouldn't have access to the sales side. So if this um, company has a CRM account in their name, then you would click this um, here. If you have right here for Coffee Matico, there's only one pipeline. But if you had different pipelines, then they would show up here. So you could add, you know, which pipelines that they they are part of. And here are emails about prospects for the company. We'll say send one weekly. And then you, there are a few different things that you can you can customize for that person. So then we go save changes. So here you can see that user information was saved successfully and a temporary password will be emailed to the new user. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to email and here you can see that the email has arrived. And you can see the message here. Your account has been created. You can log in and take advantage of the powerful marketing and email automation system. And here's your username and password. So we're gonna copy the password and hit get started. And here we are. So now it prompts you to change your password. So I will change it here. There we go. So then if you if you subscribe to MailSync, this is where that person would sign up for that so they would just choose who their their uh, provider is and then follow those instructions this account we're not going to do that though and here we are so this is now what mr tom jones sees and this is his user so now we're going to sign out and sign back into the admin account and now if we go back into settings and user accounts you'll see that they're both set up here and it shows the company roles as well 
So you can add as many users as you want in your SharpSpring account. If you want MailSync, of course, you have to order that separately. So after you're done uh, adding your users, let's go through some of the other settings. So if you want uh, your, your own user settings, they're here. Your mail sync, if you want to set up your mail sync, that's here. Company profile. So if any of your information changes, when we set up your account, we put all of this in for you. It's a good idea just to go through and make sure that we have everything correct. And your even your business hours can be in here. And you can go ahead and also upload your logo as well. There are other options in here, uh, like campaign attributions. Options, uh, you can either attribute the first campaign that a user visits or the last campaign. Uh, we usually uh, select the very first campaign that the user visits, and that way we always know where, what marketing effort brought that customer aboard. And uh, it's defaulted as well as non-decayed events to calculate lead scores. We'll talk about lead scores uh, later on in training, but this is where you can set some of the, the options. Other things that you can do here are set up your social media. You can set up custom fields, your company email settings, your lead scores, your pipeline editor, pro uh, any products that you have. You can manage your reports here and your publishing and permissions. So this one here, most of those fields are also found in other, other areas, and we're gonna go over those uh, during, during the next training sessions. Uh, this one here though with publishing permissions. So if you have a, a, in, an employee and you wanna make sure that somebody approves their posting before it goes out, you know, spell checking or, or uh, many other reasons you may wanna approve it first, you can actually enable that here. So the, uh, once you do that, they will have to be uh, approved by an admin. And also with sending emails, you can have it that they need approval as well. So for now, we will take those off. Oops. There, and anytime you do something important, SharpSpring is going to pop up here and it's gonna make you make sure that's really what you want to do. So you can also find your settings for your websites your dynamic web content, your dynamic, dynamic email content, shopping carts, your visitor ID. There's a lot of settings within this area. And um, also if you, you can integrate your Google AdWords and your Salesforce, there's a, a lot of settings within here. So that's it for this training session. Now, if you go ahead and try adding some users yourself, and maybe uh, look around some of your options, make sure that you all of your company information is correct and upload your logo. And, uh, and then we will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us.